Stephanie Schlatter and I'm on the Michigan Wine Trail. Today we're going beyond the grape and we're here at Tandem Cider. I'm here with Dan Young. Yes. And we're going to talk about, you're doing a lot with apples. Yes, we're making hard cider here at Tandem Cider as well as sweet cider. If you've never uh, had cider, it's similar to wine. It's made like wine, uh, but oftentimes consumed like a beer. It's a little bit lower alcohol. You can definitely have a pint or a half a beer. I'm not supposed to do that with mine. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Um, yeah, but we're basically using local apples. Um, we're trying to find some hard to find apples, uh, a little bit off the wall apples. We make uh, some ciders of wild apples that we, we scavenge the both sides of our wheel of journey. You should stop by sometime. You should stop by. I've, I've had cider here and there before. I started drinking it really today. But what I like about this, the ciders that Dan's producing here is you can find a dry cider, a more complex cider. It's, it's beyond what you think of that you know we all buy in the fall to go with our donuts. It's, it's more complex than that. Yeah, I mean, that's the common I think A lot of people haven't had hard cider in their head they're thinking of sweet cider. Right. I was. Yes. Yeah. So you're thinking of sweet cider, you're thinking fall. Um, but, you know, throughout uh, southern England, northern France, well, southern Spain, uh, hard cider is part of our drinking culture. It's, uh, you know, oftentimes it's uh, referred to the, uh, you know, wine of the north because they can't grow grapes in Greece, or in France, and southern England. You hit the 45th parallel where they can do both. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah, I don't 